Oh man, so I ain't got too much to say about anything that goes on in my life for this episode of What You Talk About with Dre James, but uh, um, I've seen the the Chris Van Vliet interview with Patrick Clark Jr., aka uh, the Velveteen Dream, and I must say that he has matured, and I've always believed him. Um, there's certain allegations that came to pass three years ago on child grooming and all that weird shit and I knew that it was a fan that was obviously mad at him for some reason now we know that he was helping them out and he got into uh, and the pastor Clark got to a point where I can't help this person he's going to do what he want to do um, if, if you want to hear his story go on the Chris Van Vliet uh, YouTube channel and the interview was up there with pastor Clark and I always knew that it was some foul play you know what i think the, of what happened was um of the of the extra shit that just snowballed in Pastor Clark's life when he, you know, three years ago was he actually had some haters because because think about it, he was being praised by the fans of being over, and we knew something was special was coming in the works with that character, and also veterans was like praising him of like, damn, this guy can really make it to be the top, you know what I'm saying? So I, he, had, I believe he actually had some haters. That was jealous of him, like EC3. We, I'm gonna say we watched. No, <laughs> if you haven't watched, or even if you did, I'm, I want you to rewatch the interview. Or if you didn't see the interview of Pastor Clark on uh, on Chris Van Vliet, um, watch it because since to maintain Pastor Clark's innocence, um, he actually brung receipts. And all the allegations that came to pass in his life three years ago was actually false. Um, which I already knew they was false because when WWE conducted the investigation on a certain situation, they didn't find shit. Um, he, he, he actually was pulled to the side by Triple H off of TV because he was in a car accident and, and he actually got let go due to buzzer cuts. But I think he, I think they, I think the WWE let him go because of the bad publicity you know the, the uh the, because i believe they didn't want wwe to have that shit storm to bleed into their business so i think that's why they had to let uh velveteen dream go but i saw the interview and i i'm actually glad that pastor clark um is mature enough to to be he he's more calm and and I think that's what happened when you have like a young person that was given so much at a young you know like a person that was given so much at a young age that they wouldn't know how to act because they're not mature enough because remember he was like 19 years old 20 you know, and even Dr. Chris said on his YouTube channel, uh, Pancakes and Power Bombs, I think <laughs> it's, it's just a weird name for a channel. I don't know. Um, the human brain for a male doesn't mature until he that person reaches probably 25 late 20s whatever you know the man matures late than a woman but still he's pastor clark is older he's more mature he's and he's calmer and i think he found peace so hey man let's just take one day at a time pastor clark i knew that you was innocent from the jump and i knew you had some some haters and some angry people that felt the need to tarnish your name just because you was helping that person and then you decided to cut that person off and then they got mad and and told everybody you a groomer. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what happened if you if you watched the interview and, and he brung the receipts, all the text messages and the affidavits or whatever. He brung the receipts to state this claim, and, and that was brilliant because I think Pastor Clark is vindicated. So all you gotta do is just look at the. Um, See, I say that sitting. I don't know. Uh, all right, fuck it. All you gotta do is just look forward to the future and run your race and. Everything be alright. <laughs>